everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new around here welcome if you haven't heard me say this before my name is Nicole we have a family of five myself my husband 10 year old 8 year old and a soon to be 4 year old uh, and we also have three cats and my kids are trying to make lunch right now my daughter's asthma is acting up so there might be some background noise hopefully you can just push through but I'm going to share our monthly grocery haul we just got back from Sam's and we spent $560, I think, after tax. Yeah. We also need to go to Walmart. That will be shared as well. We just need some smaller things, things we don't need in bulk or Sam's Club doesn't sell. We also needed things for our son's birthday party, so extra food, some decorations, stuff like that. So I will share all of that with you as well. And I plan on showing you my meal plan. I planned it out for the entire month, only our dinners. Just because for breakfast, that's easy. The kids grab like oatmeal or cereal or waffles or whatever it is. And I will be starting to pack my husband's lunches every day. And I switched over the kids to have hot lunch at school all the time now. So there's just Bo, myself, and Matt to worry about for lunches. And so I only planned dinner. So I think that sums up everything. I will show all the prices on the screen for you guys, but let's go ahead and get started. So here is the haul <laughs> overall. Um, I did also post a vlog about all of this. Um, we were vlogging today, so if you haven't seen that already, I'll link it in the iCard for you. But this is everything that we got, and there's a lot to it. So over here, we have some lunch meat. We still have cheese from the last time we went American cheese, uh, but we got some Black Forest ham and also some roast beef this time. We normally just get ham and turkey, but I wanted to kind of change it up. Yes, we still got ham, but my husband wanted the roast beef. So those are for sandwiches and stuff. And then I saw this, I wanted to try it hopefully this will just be for me these keto snacks i'm not particularly doing keto necessarily but with all of the nutrition information and everything there's only one gram of natural sugar zero added sugar um, and that's really great and they are only 170 or 160 calories per bag depending on which one you have there's two kinds in here there are 18 packs so I thought this would just be a really good snack for me. And I saw these for the kiddos, these like wafer bars with peanut butter and chocolate. They look really, really good. Um, so grabbed those for them as well. Underneath here is a bunch of Arizona tea cans. These are normally 99 cents at Walmart or the gas station or fries or whatever. And I think all of these equals like 60 cents per can or something. So it's definitely a discount. Um, let's go over here. I got chicken broth as well. There are six cartons of chicken broth in here for a bunch of recipes. Also the cream of chicken. I only needed, I think, six cans, but I figure I might as well get the whole thing here because we can use them for other recipes and stuff. So we got that. And then the beans are for the birthday party. There's eight cans of the Bush's Baked Beans in here. And I also got some diced tomatoes. Um, I can't remember how many I needed. I think I needed like six or eight cans. So we'll have some extra, but again, we can always use these for other recipes and stuff next month as well. Um, so yeah. And then we also got some butter. I think I have two sticks or one box. I can't remember, but we're basically out of butter. Um, so we needed that. And then I also got vinegar. I've been out of vinegar for almost a week, so I haven't been able to add it to my laundry. I also ran out of our produce wash and I didn't have vinegar as a backup either. So I got these. I like to add this in our laundry with towels, bed sheets, bath mats, things like that. And I do use vinegar to wash our produce. And we did get some eggs over here. They are two 18 packs of eggs. We finished the last of them this morning. Then we got quite a bit of produce here. I got some bananas, some cucumbers. These are like the English cucumbers. A big bag of celery, red seed, or not red, what are these? Green seedless <laughs> grapes, um, a bunch of strawberries, which these look gi stinking gigantic, so I'm excited about that. You go now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact. Travel the world, all the space 
for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it Watch me break it We also got some orange juice over here. We've had some colds this week. Not only Lacey's asthma has been acting up. Hush, buddy. But um, yeah, we need to you know, have orange juice, the extra vitamin C to help not have you sick. And then we got some more cat food. We still have some cans left. Only our two female cats eats this kind, but we won't have enough to last us through the month of March. So we got some. And if you guys watched that Fry's Hall debacle with the laundry detergent, um, I need more because I have like half of that bottle left right now. So I grabbed one of our gigantic things of all. And then I also got regular fabric softener just because I kind of miss our clothes being soft. I normally add the vinegar into all of my laundry, but it helps to get out like the musty gross smell from towels but it doesn't make our clothes soft so i'm going to use this strictly for clothing and that for produce and towels and stuff and we got some olives here i needed only i think three cans for some recipes um, but i went ahead and just got all of them because it was a little cheaper they are sliced but it'll be fine because they're thrown into other stuff and then i saw this which is new to me normally i get the regular bubbly which does not have caffeine or sugar this does have caffeine but no sugar and they are different flavors so there are 
eight triple berry, eight mango passion fruit, and eight blueberry pomegranate. Um, and there's still 24 cans. I think it was the same price as the other one I normally get, but I wanted to try the new flavors. So I grabbed that for myself. And then we did get three gallons of milk here. We have one half gallon and that's it. So I just got a few to kind of hold us over. Um, and we also got some printer ink because we're out. <laughs> I had to print out some papers for Bo to start preschool and uh, there was no ink in there. So uh, they only have the pack that has color and black, which is fine. We'll use them eventually, but we needed black in particular. And then we did get paper towels. I literally have one roll left and that's it. I haven't purchased paper towels in quite some time. And then we got some soup as well just to have on hand for when anybody is sick. We got some more Cheez-Its as well. And underneath are some mandarin oranges. All right, back here. Uh, mandarin oranges, those are going in the garage just for like backup emergency, whatever. And underneath this meat, which I'll get to the meat in a second, my husband tried this beer at a cousin's birthday party a few weeks ago, and he really liked it. And this was actually like $3 cheaper than the Bud Light he normally buys. So he got this. It's Firestone Walker Company, 805. I don't know. And then this is a pork bone-in shoulder blade steak. We got these last time too, and they were pretty dang tasty. Um, I think we only got one of these for some recipes. Oh, I forgot this section. We grabbed some cottage cheese for me to have for like a snack or if I eat breakfast. Hot dogs are for the birthday party. And then I got more of the Chobani flips. I love those as a snack or a dessert at nighttime. And more meat. We got two of the beef chuck roast packages for recipes. I think it's underneath here. So this is 5.94 pounds. This one is 5.45 pounds. And this um, steak is 4.93 pounds. And then with the ground beef, they did not have the normal small pre-sectioned ground beef packages that we have been buying for quite some time. So we had to get like their regular ground beef packages. This is still the 90% lean, 10% uh, fat. So I think we normally buy 93.7, but this will be fine. Um, what are these? Three point, no, no, no. 4.99 pounds. So basically five pounds of meat for this one. Again, they're for different recipes and stuff. And this one is also 4.99 pounds as well. And I was going to look in our freezer and see what we had before we went to the store. Uh, and I totally forgot. So we bought all of the meat that I had planned for for the month of March. So I think we might have some extra meat left over for next month, which is fine because it'll still be used either way. And they did not have any chicken thighs. I was bummed because I love chicken thighs. I don't care for breasts as much, uh, but I need these for a whole bunch of recipes as well. So we got two packages of chicken breasts. This one is 7.28 pounds. And this one is 7.37 pounds. And then we did get two packages of the hot dog buns to go with the hot dogs for the birthday party. And we did get um, some regular bread for sandwiches and stuff. We got some more body wash for myself and the kiddos. We will run out probably in two weeks. So I grabbed it while we were there. And then I have enough vitamins for seven more days. <laughs> and then I'm out. So I grabbed another one of these. But this is pretty much the only one they carry there. They do have like a one a day women's silver or centrum silver for people over 50. And they did have, I think a prenatal vitamin. So I grabbed this one and we got some more mayonnaise. Uh, we're almost out in the fridge. And this was so much cheaper than buying it in the store. Normally we pay like 350 for one bottle and this was like four something for the two. Um, so one will go into our fridge and one will just sit in the pantry. And the last thing we got were some pizzas because that is on our menu plan. So I really like this cauliflower crust cheese pizza. It's really, really good. And then for everybody else, we just got the pepperoni from DiGiorno. There's three in this package and two in here. So we will have two pizza nights with this and I believe there's one kind of pizza outside it might be that meat pizza or something I can't remember but that was everything that we got at Sam's 
So I'm gonna share with you my meal plan for the month of March. Um, I've never done this before. This is something new that I'm gonna try out. Uh, this used to be my regular calendar, but I found a new one um, at TJ Maxx, I think. I thought it was really cute with like the succulents and stuff. So it's just right here next to the fridge so I can see everything. But I went ahead and used this instead of buying one that sticks to the fridge because I already had it. So I figured I would just kind of recycle it. Um, so you're going to notice that I repeat some things just to make my life a little bit easier. And it's things that like I know my family likes a lot. So I also wrote down in black which cookbook I need to reference for some of the recipes that I haven't tried before or that are newer to me. Some I think we've done before but I just want to make sure because like I don't know it by heart so that way I know which cookbook to grab um, you know to make the food. And I did try to keep in mind kind of rotating between like ground beef, pork, chicken, you know stuff like that so we're not just eating like chicken for one week and then like ground beef for one week so i'm trying to keep all of that in mind so tomorrow we're supposed to have a beef enchilada casserole tacos beans and rice now with the tacos that i have every tuesday we're going to rotate between some of them being ground beef tacos some of the tacos will be um, from like a roast, like a pot roast, but it'll be shredded and I will make that in the crock pot with green enchilada sauce that you see in the hall. And then I think one of them I'm going to try to do chicken tacos as well. So even the tacos themselves will be different, but every Tuesday will be tacos, homemade refried beans and rice. And then every Wednesday as well I have breakfast and that will rotate between pancakes, scrambled eggs, toast, waffles, we can do burritos with like sausage, bacon, or eggs. We have cheese for that and we have bacon and sausage left over from last month so I didn't buy any. Um, and if we need any we can always go back to the store. My plan is to go back to the store one day a week every week and get whatever else we might need for these recipes we're also going to have to go back to the store at some point for fresh fruits and vegetables probably milk and bread so at that point i'll also grab anything we might need for the recipes that i didn't get because it'll go bad by the time it comes around you know what i mean so anyway breakfast over here is a sloppy joe casserole pizza and salad you can see is every single Friday night so the salad is something that I will probably grab maybe Wednesday or Thursday might be the day that I go to the store so that way the salad is always fresh and then Saturday is a skillet fiesta chicken and rice recipe just regular plain old pasta and then we might have some biscuits on the side or something too golden chicken with noodle I have made before but it's been quite some time tacos beans and rice breakfast a skillet vegetable lasagna so that's actually a meatless meal so that'll be nice to have in the mix as well uh, pizza and salad cheesy chicken and rice palta chingua I, I don't know if that's actually the name that's what we called it growing up it's just a recipe my mom got from my grandma so this one is ground beef mashed potatoes one can of drained corn one can of cream corn just kind of mixed all together so it's kind of similar to like a shepherd's pie but with only corn and the cream corn makes it like creamy and really good um, ranch pork chop sheet pan that is something i've never tried before tacos beans and rice breakfast potato soup pizza and salad chicken parmesan that's also new i'm excited about that we're gonna make a pot roast, probably like a Mississippi pot roast, uh, mashed potatoes and green beans, burgers and fries. We do still have burgers from last month out in the freezer, so we did not need, we did not need to buy those. And we do still have tater tots as well. So if we still have tater tots, like if we don't eat them, you know, for like a snack or if I don't eat them somewhere else, we might just use the tater tots instead of french fries, but we'll see if I need to buy fries. Tacos, beans, and rice again, breakfast, uh, barbecue pork chops. So we're just gonna bake the pork chops in the oven and then the last like 15 minutes, we smother barbecue sauce on them, put them back into the oven, and then we'll have mac and cheese and corn with that. Pizza and salad, <coughs> excuse me, the D kind of got messed up. 
uh, chicken pot pie casserole, burgers and fries, potato soup, tacos, beans, and rice, and then breakfast. Um, I didn't finish out the week. I might do that. Or we can just have leftovers, which I did not do any nights for leftovers because usually we don't have any or <laughs> Bo or myself will eat those for lunch. Usually Bo will. And I am going to be packing Matt's lunch. I think I mentioned that already. But if he happens to come home or if I forget to pack his lunch, um, he will come home and eat the leftovers as well. So they will still get eaten if there is any left. But that is going to be our dinner meal plan for March. All right, we just got back from Walmart and I've separated it for things we need for Bo's party and then everything else. Plus there's still some Sam stuff on here, so just ignore that for now. But for the party, we got some drinks. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but his birthday theme is construction, like construction site, construction trucks, all that stuff. So I might, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video or I'll just share it. Maybe on my Instagram. Follow me there because I'll probably post pictures of the food and stuff that I make and all the decorations. I might do a video, but I'm not sure. But we're going to label the drinks as fuel or the fuel station. So we got some juice. So there's a strawberry or white cranberry strawberry. I can read. Um, an apple juice. A white cranberry peach juice. We got two Sam's Colas. Two Dr. Thunders. Two twist ups and one of the Sam's Cola Zero. And we also got some pretzel rods. I'm gonna label these and the veggie straws that we got, the Zesty Ranch. Label those as either lumber or wood, something like that, or two by fours maybe. And we're also going to be making a pasta salad. Uh, I got the recipe from a cousin slash my sister-in-law. I think they use the same recipe. But it's two boxes, well, or one, depending on how many people you're feeding. But garden rotini noodles, Italian dressing. You can put cherry tomatoes or peppers, which I'm going to put peppers in here because Matt hates tomatoes. But then again, my mom hates peppers. So, you know, who can you please, one or the other. But anyway, you can also add cherry tomatoes in there and what is it black olives and then like cheddar cheese and it's really good we had it at a birthday party recently it was delicious so we're gonna make that for the party and we're also going to do like the little dirt cups with worms um since you know dirt in the ground construction so we have two packs of the pudding it has the chocolate fudge and milk chocolate swirl then we obviously got some of the knockoff Oreos to go in there. And then they did not have regular like gummy worms anywhere, but they have little snakes. Uh, they're sweet and sour, so hopefully that'll work out okay. Hopefully the kids like them. And then we did get some napkins and plates for the party as well, black and yellow for the construction theme. So these are, you know, smaller for cake or whatever. And then the big ones for the hot dogs, the pasta salad, uh, we're going to also have like some fruits and veggies on the side and everything else that we have. And then we did get some cheese balls because I'm going to label those as either wrecking balls or boulders, something like that. So I thought those were really cute. And then we did get some relish. I don't have any relish for the hot dogs and we're almost out of ketchup. Like I don't have enough for everybody at the party. So I got a ketchup while we were there. And then we found some cones just to put out for like decoration, little construction cones. So that's everything else we needed for the party except for his cake or cupcakes. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing. La, 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 la.
like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars so we separated all the meat like we usually do. Everything is labeled. This is a particular recipe since it has four, so that's why it says it. And then I just have how many are in here. So the rest of them are three packages. And then with the ground beef, I saw this like video on Facebook a while back about laying your meat flat so it saves space. So that's what we did. And then we labeled this as well because there's one that has one pound of ground beef and then two. And our batteries were dead on our scale, so you saw us trying to weigh it by hand, so this might not be completely accurate, but it's close enough. And then also these, we did two and a half per bag, so those are labeled. Then we took out some of the roast, uh, roast, not roast beef, roasts, to make shredded pork tacos, basically. And then we left this one in the package. Beef, yes, beef. And we left this one in the package to do for Mississippi roast because we never have enough meat if it's just one because they shrink down as they cook. So this will be for Mississippi roast. Those are for tacos, so on and so forth. And then over here, we got some ricotta cheese, which looks like it leaked out a little. I'm not really sure, but that is for a recipe. I got some more oats. I have a little bit left, but I'm going to start making energy balls again. Um, so I need more to make those. And we got four cans of these chopped green chilies for a few different recipes. One box of penne, just for a regular pasta one night. These oven ready lasagna noodles. I can't remember which recipe they're for, but it's for something. And I got two cans of the red chili sauce and four cans of the green chili sauce, again for different recipes. And this is something we've never seen before, Southwestern style pinto beans in flavorful red chili sauce with mild jalapeno peppers. So we have two cans of this, Matt saw them and wanted to try them. And then another one we saw is black bean fiesta in a mild chipotle sauce with corn and peppers. So we got two of those as well just to try out, we'll add them into a recipe or do something with it. I got two cans of tomato soup back here for something, one can of cream corn, and I got another Italian dressing because we do have some extra chicken. So I'm just going to marinate some chicken in this and we can put it on the griddle thing. We got one block of cheese. There were a few items uh, left on our wick stuff that we needed to use before the benefits expired. All right, my battery died. Um, we did get one sauce to go with the penne pasta just for a regular pasta one night. What is it? Mushroom and green pepper. We did get one bag of egg noodles for a recipe as well. And Matt really wanted some Oreos, so we got the nice kind or the good kind of Oreos for him. I for, kind of forgot when we were at Sam's Club that we needed um, hamburger buns. I had it on the list for Walmart. I don't know why I didn't buy them at Sam's. I don't know. These are going to be frozen though for now because we are going to be having burgers twice in the month of March. So I'm just going to freeze them for now. But that way we have them ready to go. And then we got some ice cream. Um, Bo picked out some strawberry. They still have a unicorn, I think, like magical unicorn or something, ice cream. But strawberry for them. And then Matt picked out this Reese's Pieces ice cream for himself. Oh, and cereal. Um, so the cereal uh, was part of the Wick stuff. So we got some of the honey bunches of oats with almonds and Cheerios, which Lacey pointed out that they have a heart shape. So I thought that was really cute. And then Matt picked out some Lucky Charms for himself. Uh, Matt grabbed socks, I don't know, and hand wraps for his boxing that he is doing now. Um, some eggs also on the Wick thing. That was the last one, even though we got eggs at Sam's. But since we're doing breakfast, um, one day a week the eggs we will go through and since I make avocado toast almost daily we will go through these. We got two packages of tortillas, the gigantic ones, for breakfast burritos and I needed tortillas for some recipe but I can't remember which one. And the last thing we got was uh, cat litter. We normally get the 38 pound box 
but they didn't have it. So these are, I think 20 pounds. Yeah, two 20 pounds. So we actually get two pounds more, but I think it's more expensive this way, which is why we normally get the big one. But if you have cats and you have had issues with your litter or you're looking for a really good litter, we really, really like this one. The Arm & Hammer Double Duty Advanced Stool Control, Odor Control, Clumping Litter. We have three cats. We now have three litter boxes. We used to have two for the longest time. But we have tried a few different kinds. We tried one or two from Sam's, one or two other ones from Walmart. I even tried the pretty litter that you see advertisements for on Facebook. And this, by far, is our favorite litter. The clumps really do not like break apart when you're scooping it out and it really does not smell near as bad as when we used other kinds of litter. So I highly, highly recommend this kind. Take a screenshot if you want to, but try it out. But that was everything that we got at Walmart. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the haul and us putting things away and the meal plan and all the things. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below and let me know. And you can also head over to Instagram or Facebook if you'd like to follow me there as well. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.